Uh, hello, this is Najib again. Uh, in this video, I want to show you my my own Petrina tool. Okay, it's simple uh, and very useful. Okay, so that's my own Petrinet. So I coded it with C++ because that uh, it has no dependency with any DLL uh, or something. So there is no DLL uh, dependencies. Okay, uh, you can fire, fire it in uh, any Windows machine, 32 or 64. Uh, uh, so you don't even need to install it so just download it so you will find the link in the description below and an archive the folder to get the folder so in this folder you that's your application okay that's a simple simple very simple and useful Petronet you can uh, you can even uh, you can also create the coverability graph uh, of a Petronet. So let's open it. <coughs> so when you open this website, will be opened. So that's I will make I will create a forum here for Petronet designers. Okay, uh, and uh, some tutorials, some uh, video tutorials, uh, uh, and so on. Okay. Uh, so there is these buttons here that's save to save your net open and the new and here that's the places mode transitions mode edges mode the null mode and that's the firing a one by one and that's the auto firing and that's the coverability graph uh, generation uh, button okay so let's first let's just open uh, a petronet so that's for example a petronet a petronet has a name and with the extension pnet always the extension is pnet okay uh, let's open it uh, so that's a petronet let's let's go ahead and explain these three uh, options so the first one let me let me first explain this petronet here i have three places this this and this so each place has a number of tokens and the name okay i will uh, later i will show you how to create and delete and edit uh, your place okay so we're using this mode so let's now uh, just uh, describe this three uh, options so for the transitions I have six transitions but there is two this and this transition are green you can see that this little square is green and this also green but the others are red so what's the difference the, 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 the transitions with the, with the green square mean that those are the enabled transitions for example that's enabled transition because it need one token to be here and we have two so that's enabled the same thing for this this is enabled but this 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 and this are not enabled because that they are in red we, they have a red uh, square here okay so when i go to this so i just I can cl uh, click over the enable transition to fire it for example if I click over this enabled transition I fire it that means that I will remove one token from here and I put one here so let's click so that's one and one so now this is enabled and this is also enabled because this is need one here and one to be here and we have one token and this need one token to be here and we have one this is uh, not enabled yet let's press over this so this is one here and this is enabled now okay that's simple with this mode I just click over the enabled transitions to fire it okay so for this so let's 
return back what always when i press over the places i return back to the uh, initial marking which is two zero zero okay so when i press over this that's auto uh firing this this mode here this mode is just it choose one from the enabled transitions and fire it for example we fire t1 it it chooses this to fire it okay so it remove one here and put it here so it will be one here and one here okay after it fires it now it chooses t0 because it's enabled it chooses from this 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 and this it chooses T0 okay now it chooses T5 it chooses this so the difference this is choose randomly one from the enabled transitions okay now it chooses T5 also T5 also this T5 just increased the number of tokens here. Now it chooses T3, which is this. This remove one here and put it here. It will be 4, 2, okay? Let's remove one and put it here. It chooses T4 now, and so on. When I want to stop uh, the auto firing, I just press console, okay? Uh, now this is the coverability graph so when I press over the coverability graph so notice that when I now I have 0 to 4 but this coverability graph uh, so create coverability graph from the initial marking which is this 200 okay so let's press over the coverability graph so that's the number of edges created in our coverability graph, okay? So the coverability graph CG created, you can find it in, the, in this path, okay? So that's the path. So it, it, you can find it uh, in the same folder with your, uh, with your Petronet. So that's your coverability graph image, okay? so when you press ok it will be opened okay so even if this this petri net is not bounded because that you will see these w's here that's w w i assume that you know what's mean w because i will put uh, a popper in my website uh to just for you to learn how to create coverability graph because I follow these algorithms to create my program. Okay, uh, I assume that you may, you know what's mean how to create coverability graph. That's here. That's very important. Okay, because when you see this, this marking. So I say here. Uh, excuse me. Let's just. So that's here, that's the scrolling bar, bar I say, okay. Uh, <coughs> that's this, uh, the, the place is sequence. What's that mean? Because when you see that's a marking. So I say that the first marking, this marking, is the number of tokens in the, in the first place here, which is P1. So that means this marking is for P1. For the second, for the second marking is the number of tokens in P2, okay? Which is this. And the third is, in, is the, the number of tokens of the third place in the places sequence, which is P0, which is this, okay? Uh, so that's your coverability graph okay so that's your petri net we open it so that's this petri net here uh, so that's the name of the the whole path of your petri net okay favor.pnet 
uh, so here you will find the, the, the image in the same folder with your uh, Petrinet. So here that's favor.pnet. The name is favor.pnet underscore image. Okay. And here that's another file here created favor.pnet underscore dick. What's this? Uh, that's uh, also very important sometimes. Okay. So when you open it, you will find you will find uh, a marking. From this marking, I go to this marking using this transition. So for this, uh, between these uh, braces here, that's the the sequence of the transitions that I reach to this. Uh, this marking from the initial marking. That means that from the initial marking, which is always in the top here, from this, from this marking, when I fire, for example, for this, for from this, excuse me, from this marking, I reach to this marking when I fire T1 and then T1, and then T2, and then T2, and then T5, and, T, and then T3. That means I, from this, I, when I fire this sequence of transitions, I go to this marking. That's important sometimes. For example here, from this, I say that from this, I go to this, with this, with T4, because that you will see that you just, this sequence is just the same with this, but we add T4 at the end, okay? Because we go from this to this by T4. So we just add T4 to this sequence, okay? Uh, that's simple this, you may need it, okay? Uh, so that's it for these three uh, options. So let's go first to this. So when I, excuse me, I will make something. Here, you will find that this, this, uh, this name is in black. When I save it, it will be in green, okay? So when I, I do anything here, it will be black. So when I save, I save, I press here or I just press Ctrl S, okay? For open, that's simple. When I open, so I can open any Petronet, okay? So notice that the name of the Petronet may be, must be with Pnet extension, okay? Uh, let's create a new one, say, so, okay? So if, if I mess here, if it's not saved, when I press new, you want to delete uh, the current net without saving it. So let's save it before we create a new one, okay? So when I create a new one, so let's create a new Petri net, okay? Uh, so let's create places. So when I create places, when I want to create places, I must uh, go to the places mode so I click here when I click here it will be in green okay so I can just uh, click whenever I want okay so when I click I create a new place okay so that's how you can create place so if you want to edit place so just move uh, move your mouse over the place you want to edit and press Ctrl, okay? For example, for this P1, uh, so that's the name and that's the tokens. So let's, uh, let's make the name Najib, okay? And let's make the tokens, number of tokens, two. So that's Najib, two. Let's, for example, uh, edit here. Let's press Algeria. 
Uh, so that's simple. You can uh, you can edit any place. Okay, just move your mouse over the place and rename it. Okay, or edit its number of tokens. Okay, but here there is important thing. The name the name must be an alphanumeric string. Uh, uh, what's mean that that means that the name may be just uh, alphabets or numbers for example Neji 43 is a name but the name is must be must always starts with an alphabet for example if I were write like that it's not a name so the name must be an alphanumeric string so that's mean Alpha, alphabet, alphabets and numbers, but the first, the first character must be an alphabet. Okay, so for example, hello, Algeria. Uh, okay, so if you want to move, uh, if you want to move just so to to move place, so you must always in the places mode just click over your place and move it wherever you want okay if you want to delete place just uh, move your mouse over the place you want to delete and pre press a delete button okay for example now I will press delete button so it's created deleted delete this and then delete this okay so let's create three other places okay so the same thing for transitions when I am in the transitions mode just click wherever you want okay to create if you want to move just uh, move your mouse over your, your transition you want to move and move it wherever you want okay if you want to edit, just move your mouse over your transition and press Ctrl. So you can only uh, change the name. Okay, the name of transition is also also the same thing with the name of places. It is an alphanumeric started with an alphabet. Okay. Uh, if you want to delete. So just move your mouse over the transition and press delete. For the edges, so the edges mode, so you, here you can create edges. So to create an edge, so uh, I assume that you know the basics of Petrinet. To create an edge must be from place to transition or, or from transition to place. So if you want to create from place to transition just press over the place and keep pressing and move your mouse to the transition and release okay the same thing I want to create this edge this edge this edge this edge and this edge okay so imagine that I want to uh, move transition here I can't move because to move transition I must be in the transitions mode okay uh, here uh, in this mode I can just uh, create edge or delete edge or edit edge okay so how to move edge for example for this I can move it by so every edge has a circle in the middle so that's the selection uh, the selection circle for example if I want to move this I just go over this I move my mouse over this circle and move it okay if I want to delete it I move my mouse here over it and press delete so let's create it again if I want to edit, uh, so I just move my mouse over its circle and I press Ctrl. Ctrl always for 
uh, for edit okay so I press edit so I just can I can just create uh, I just edited the weight okay I can also uh, move the weight okay so sometimes it will not be clear or something like that I can just move it okay I can move the weight also to the right place I want okay uh, for example if this if this weight is here when I reply when I rem when I move this edge so the weight is reaches uh, to its original place okay uh, so let's try to create a coverability graph so when I press here so please save your net before building the coverability graph this the software say that you must save your net before creating the coverability graph so let's save it so I will I want to put it here in this folder so name it circle net for example okay so now that's my uh, my petri net so it creates here when I go here so that's my petri net and it add pnet as uh, an extension okay so let's create uh, so notice that this is not a fireable there is no transition is fireable from the initial marking when I create is say no coverability graph because uh, no transition is fireable from the initial marking let's add one token here so I go here to the places mode let's add one token here so so please save your net when I save it it will be green this okay so now I will I can create my coverability graph so the coverability graph created you can find it in this path in the same folder with my petri net okay so and it opened okay you can see this W because that's not bounded petri net okay so if you have any question uh, uh, just put it in the in the in the comments below and here also I will add uh, I will add comment uh, a comment section in this website that's a new website just today I, I created it I will uh, I will add uh, something here okay that's just a new website uh, so that's it I hope that you find this video helpful for you uh, and I hope that you like uh, my video uh, and see you later